We recently created a character that had some um, tentacle-style legs um, attached to it, and we want to share with you how we set these up. But they've got a kind of like Mr. Man, wobbly kind of look and feel to them, um, and we thought they worked quite nicely. Um, and yeah, we're just going to share with you how we set these up. Um, and also we've got some triggers on these as well, so we can set up the hands. And what we've also done is added a transform to say that hand there, so we can do things like waves and we've got control over the rotation of the hand. Um, cause with this setup, they look cool, but they, um, they are a little bit unpredictable to where they move, but if it's the top style you're going for, it's just something quite cool you can do. So, um, to set these up, the way we do this is if we go into rig mode, you can see we do it by setting up a load of bones. So I'm going to go through this now, um, on this arm here where I've deleted everything. So, first of all, what we will do is this, uh, characters kind of set up a little bit differently to normal um, because all the body and everything that we need is within the head layer um, but that shouldn't make a difference um, to how it's all set up but what we do is we set up a shoulder tag to where we want the arm uh, to be in place so if we go back to there you can see we've got the shoulder set up there I don't know why that's moving about but that doesn't matter um, so we put a tag in here for left shoulder. Then if we go to that left arm, which I believe is this one here, and then we want to move the, I'm going to make sure that this is on independent. And we've got it on hinge as well. And we've got it attached to that left shoulder um, tag. And then this, we want to move this point here, um, this handle, so this is your pivot point. So that's now going to attach to that left shoulder within the model, and it'll always move from there. The next thing we want to do is create these bones. So you need a whole bunch of them to get that fluid motion. So the best way of doing this is literally by oh, just dragging out a little bit. And um, what I'll do is make a few, zoom in, and then once we've got a couple made, we can just copy and paste them, and it makes the whole thing a lot quicker. Actually, let's make them. Um, I'll just do that now, and then I know they're all kind of lined up. Copy, paste, copy, paste. Them. And then we'll do the same again, select some more. Again, and just copy and paste this last one here. Down here, we're going to add a dangle. Uh, sorry, not dangle, draggable. And we're going to give it a left wrist behavior. And that's it. That's literally the setup that you need. And this should now work in theory. Same as the others. Um, you'll see that I've added an elbow to that one, but I'll explain about that in a second. So, if we go back into the puppet, see this one now works in the same way as all the others, and it just gives a nice bend to the arms. It gives a nice fluid motion, and it works really nicely for like this kind of like simplified, like tentacle type thing um, as well. But if you do want a little bit more control over this, you can add in draggable points wherever you want in the arm. Uh, so if you want to add a few draggable points, and go back, you can then 
drag those different elements and it gives you a little bit more control over the final posing of the arm but then when you do want to move it you're going to have to make sure to move them all again so it's probably best to leave them out and then also if you add the elbow control that will work not the elbow so you've got some control um, I think in the OK settings as well then so move this one up here and then you can move that one around a little bit and then limb OK I think there should be some sort of adjustment that can be done in here No, actually that doesn't make any difference. So yeah, um, so it doesn't matter if it's an elbow or not, um, it just needs to be draggable. So the other thing that I wanted to show was, um, like I say, we added a transform to this part of the hand. So if we go back into the rig mode, what I don't need to do is go into left arm and you see we've got hands. Uh, that one is an independent object. And um, we've just added the transform behavior. So, you know, we go add transform. Um, and what this allows us to do, like, like you can see, is we've got control over that rotation. So in here, you'll see we've got transforms for all the different ones. So that one is left, it'd be this one here, left arm hands. And to add that rotation into the control panel, it is some case of just, um, I have to do this again now. I think we're going to put that in layout mode and then drag that. You know, you see we've already got that one there anyway. Um, but you know, if you wanted to do that with the scale or anything else, um, you can do that as well. And it just gives you that little bit more control. So, you know, we can blow the hands up if we really wanted to or, do whatever we want with it. Um, yeah, so and that's it. It's just a very simple um, effect that you can do, but on certain characters it works quite nicely. And it's a nice little effect. So that is how you can create bendy, tentacly, Mr. Men style arms in character animator. <laughs>